Okay, so we are going to be working on a two-point perspective cityscape and I'm going to take you step by step through the instructions to complete that. Um, the first thing that you'll need to do is we need to figure out where the center point of our paper is so that we can have our horizon line um, along the length of the paper and then um, our center building. So the first thing that you're going to need to do, your paper is 12 by 18 inches. So you're uh, 12 inches tall here. You're going to need to measure six inches so that you can get that in half. My paper's a little bit smaller than yours. So you will need to make your mark at these six inches on both sides. Make sure that your ruler is lined up to the top or bottom of your paper. So that way you know that it's exactly six inches down on both sides. Then you line your ruler up with those two marks and it's good to have your ruler lined up as well to the edge of your paper again. And there is your horizon line. Again, this should be at six inches down. Now for our center building, we need to know that that is in the center of our paper as well. Your paper is 18 inches wide, which means you need to make a mark at nine inches. Again, my paper is a different size than yours. So you need to make your mark at nine inches nine inches and I'm just making one little mark right here in the center this line is not going to go exactly all the way top to bottom we want it to be close to the top and then a couple inches below the horizon line there so a couple inches below and then pretty close to the top um, I might even bring that down a little bit it's okay there's no um, exact measurements. After you get your horizon line and the center building, we're just kind of eyeballing everything. At this point, you should have a vanishing point on the right side. So you should have a little dot there right on your horizon on the edge of your paper and one on the left side. So a dot right there on the left side. So those are your two vanishing points. Every single thing that you draw needs to be lined up to one of those vanishing points, depending on whether you're working on the left side of a building or the right side of a building. For this center building here, if you take a look at our example, this is the line that we just drew, the center corner of our building. So now we need to do the bottom vanishing lines, and these are going to, this line's gonna stay the whole time. So we're going to draw that line all the way across from the bottom to the right vanishing point. And we're going to draw from the left vanishing point to the bottom of that line for the bottom corner of our building. When you look at the example here, the right side is a little bit wider than the left side. So we're gonna go ahead and do the right side first. I like to have it so that my ruler is not covering up what I'm drawing. So I've got the right side of the building right now, where the top of that center line and the right vanishing point lined up. And we're gonna go maybe a little bit less than halfway. And that is the top roof line of our building. Now we need the side. Anytime you are drawing a vertical line, it must have uh, your ruler, the end of your ruler lined up with the top or bottom edge of your paper. That is going to ensure that you've got a nice straight line there, okay? If you just place your ruler wherever, it is not going to be correct. You have to either, if you're doing a vertical line, line your ruler up with either the top or the bottom of your paper so that you know it's 90 degree angle or any other line, if you're doing something horizontal or angled, it must be lined up to either the right or the left vanishing point. So we have our right side of our building. I went ahead and erased the vanishing line because we can't see through that building. And I'm gonna do the left side of the building here. Okay, so we've got our left vanishing point to the top of this center line. And this side I said was skinnier. So we're gonna draw a little bit less there. Line this up 
to the top of the building and the end here of this line. Or top of the paper, on top of the building. There we go. Erase that horizon line again so that you have your building. There we go. We've already got one building in correct perspective. Now, for this next one, we actually don't need to draw a center line first because these two buildings are connected like a shopping mall. So the end of this building is actually the center line for this one because we're only seeing the right side, the right facing side of that building. So I'm just going to decide how tall I want that next building to be and line that up with, one thing you can do too is just give yourself like a little mark where you want that to go. Okay, so I'm gonna line that mark up with my right vanishing point because I'm working on the right side of the building and I'm gonna go in this space a little bit less than half again. Okay, so that's the roof of that second building. Line the top of my paper to the top of my ruler and draw the vertical line there. And now I've got two buildings. Okay. And erase the horizon line because we can't see through the building. For this next building on the right here, we can see both the left and right side. But if you'll notice, there's a little gap between the two buildings. So we do need to draw that center line. So I'm just going to take my ruler line it up with the top and make sure that I moved over a little bit and I have some space between these two buildings. And I'm just gonna eyeball and decide how tall I want that building to be. I'm gonna make the right side pretty skinny. If I make it too wide, it'll just look kind of funny in perspective. And in fact, I might even, I'm gonna make that a little bit shorter. Okay, so this is just eyeballing. There's no exact measurements at this point. We're just kind of going with what'll look good. Okay, and this line, I'm gonna go just a little bit because I want this to be tall and skinny side. I'm gonna line the ruler up to the top of my paper again. And draw down. Okay, so I do need to make sure that I have perfect right angles uh, for all of those vertical lines. Erase the horizon line because that building is in the way. Okay. And this horizon line right here is going to stay. So if you want to darken that up, it's actually better to use the ruler, but I'm being lazy. Okay, now for the left side of this building, we still can see the bottom a little bit. So we are going to line up our left vanishing point to the bottom of this center line here. Now, even though we're on the right side of the paper, we are drawing the left side of the building. And if we're using the left side, that means we need to use the left vanishing point. So you should be able to see this little bit of the bottom of the building and that alleyway. Okay, now we're going to line up the top of the left side of the building with our left vanishing point. And I'm going to draw about halfway here. And then that line down. Line my ruler up with the top of the paper. Draw that down. Okay, I moved it over a little bit accidentally. So I'm just gonna erase that little extra bit, totally fine. Okay, we have one more building on this right hand side. Again, we can see both sides. So we have to start with this center line right here. And as you can see, that's a little bit further in from the corner of our first building. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ruler right about here. Line it up with the top. And I'm gonna go almost all the way to the top. And we can't see the bottom of the building, but we need to do the two top sides. You can see there's a little bit of space in between these two buildings. So I wanna make sure when I line up the right vanishing point and the top of that, that I don't go farther than this building so that there will be that little bit of space there. 
line up the top of my paper to the end of my ruler. Get that line there. And then the left side, I need to match the left vanishing point to the top of that building. Go over as wide as I want that building to be. Line the top of my paper up with my ruler. There we go. Okay, so we've got all the buildings on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and get started on the left. For this first building here, there's a bit of a gap in between. So we wanna do the same thing we did over here and move the ruler over a little bit. So we need to do this center line first and then we do the roof. Okay, so I'm gonna have a pretty big gap there, so maybe move that over just a little bit. And I'm gonna make the height of this about the height of the building next to it. Okay, and I wanna stop, not at the horizon line, but at this angled line at the bottom. Okay, make sure that you go all the way down to the angled line. I can go ahead and erase this bit of the horizon line there. Okay, now we can see a little bit of the bottom on the right, so I will need to line up the bottom of my center line to my right vanishing point. Okay, so we've got that little alley and we can see the bottom portion there. And now I need to do the top part. If you look at the sample here, this one we're not doing a vertical down. It's just gonna run right into this building. So I'm going to line up. This is the right side of the building. So we're using the right vanishing point and the top there. And I'm just gonna stop once I hit that building. Okay. Now I need the left side. So I am going to line up the top of that building to my left vanishing point. You do need to make sure, again, that you absolutely line it up to your vanishing point. I'm gonna decide how wide I want that building to be. Then do my vertical. And go all the way down to this bottom angled line. Now I can erase the horizon line there. And we have three more buildings on this side. So at the end, we'll have a total of eight. Okay, this one here is connected again, so we do not have to draw that center line. That's this building here. So I'm going to line up however tall I want that to be. Draw about halfway. Okay, so this one can be much shorter, it's fine. Buildings are all different heights. Line it up to the top, draw my vertical, and erase that horizon line. Okay, I've got another one here. Um, there's another alley in between these two buildings, so I do need to draw my center line. I'm going to move my ruler over just a little bit and decide how tall I want this building to be. Okay, and now might be a good time to erase that horizon line. Tight fit right there. Okay, so I can still see a little bit of the bottom of the right side. So I'm going to match this point right here at the bottom to my right vanishing point draw there should be just a little bitty angle right there then I do the top to my right vanishing point because I'm on the right side decide how wide I want that building line up that mark and stop once I hit the next building you can clean up any stray marks as you go or at the end. I need to do the left side of this. We already have the left bottom. So I match the top 
up to my left vanishing point. There we go. Decide how wide I want that building to be. Line up my ruler to the top or bottom of the page and draw that vertical and get rid of that extra horizon line. Again, this bit of the horizon line is going to stay so I can darken that up a little bit. Okay, we have one more building left. We can see both sides of it. So I do need that center line again, and that's in between this space right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my ruler in between that space. I'm going to draw as tall as I want that building to be. I'm gonna go ahead, we can't see the bottom of the right or the left side, so I'll do the right side first. And line that up to the right vanishing point. The top there to the right vanishing point. And I'm gonna draw as wide as I want that building to be, just like always. Line up the top or bottom of the page with my ruler get the height of that there. And the last side, the left here, I need to line up the top with the left vanishing point. Decide how wide I want that building to be. Then I'm going to line up the top of my paper again. And there is my last building. So that was pretty quick and easy. And in the next video, I'll start talking about um, the windows and doors on the buildings.